guys, check out the next level games for all your TCG needs. Link is down below in the description of the video. Thanks, guys. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. We have a new week of playing World Championship decks. Now, this week, all these cards should be somewhat familiar if you do play the expanded format. We are starting into stuff that we do see every day, uh, but we are playing in the World Championship. So today we are starting off with Honor Stoys, aka Jacob Van Wagner's winning Archie's Stoys deck. Uh, now I remember going to the World Championship. Our stories wasn't really that played, but the Hovercats played it. I think I think it was the Hovercats. Yeah, I mean it's Honor Stories, obviously. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think it was all of them. I don't know. Anyways, that's another history lesson for no, uh, for another time. But today we're looking at the Archie Stories deck. If you have no idea what this is, the deck kind of revolves around this Archie's Ace and the Hole. You only play this card when it's the last card in your hand. Put a water Pokemon, free this card onto your bench, then draw five cards. You might be asking yourself, well, Squeaky, what cards you put on the bench? That is going to be Blastoise. It has the ability to lose. As often as you like during your turn before you attack, you may attach a Water G from your hand to one of your Pokemon. Uh, so, yeah, you go for the Ar Archies, try to get the Blastoise out, and we will get into it. Hold on. Before we start this, I'm going to give it a quick shout out to uh, Trainer Chip. Chip is Richie, is the one who actually. Recorded this video, I have a link down below to his YouTube channel and his Twitter. He has said he will start recording uh, as the new season approaches. So make sure you check out Trainer Chip's channel. Uh, fantastic stuff over, the stuff over there, and I'm excited that he did decide to play this matchup. He was excited. He, uh, I think he said he didn't play this world, or he, I think that's what he said. Don't quote me on that. I can't remember the exact conversation, but he was excited to play this Archie Stories tech. Anyways, thank you, Chip, for doing this video with me. And I'll have a link down below to his YouTube, his Twitter, and, of course, to this match as well. The original, the real, the original finals uh, against Jacob and Mies. All right, so like I said, we're getting the Blastoise out. We're using Deloitte, Deluge. We're good to go. You can also use Hydro Pump. It does 60 and 10 more damage to each water to attach this Pokemon. And what attackers are you using? Well, the first guy is going to be Keldeo EX. It's got the ability to rush in. We saw this last uh, world. Uh, be able to rush and retreat, kind of get rid of status conditions, and it's fantastic. But we're really going to use this secret sword ability. It does 50, and it does 20 more damage for each water G attached to this Pokemon. So you have 3 energy to it, you can do 110, and sky's the limit. You can attach all 11 energies you want to, have an extra 220, so you do 270, 270. That's enough to knock out some tag teams in this format. So you can see Keldeo is really strong, and don't worry, you'll definitely still see this card in Expanded. Uh, we do have Waylord. It has 250 HP. It has high breach and is 120. I think this card was mainly used against Night March because Night March it was very hard for it to hit 250 HP. I think Jacob did win a game for that way. Um, but also, it's just good, like, throw it to the active, kind of stall uh, while you're setting up if you need to as well. There's Articuno. Articuno is really good because that is a Delta Plus uh, uh, trait, making it where you take one more price card when you take a knockout Articuno. And the attack we're using is Tri Edge. It does 20. And flip three coins for each head, you do 40 more damage. So if you flip one, you do 60, which is great numbers, because then you start knocking out some Night Marchers. Uh, those are kind of a big deal then. Night March, you know, being able to try edge, take two price cards against that deck was fantastic, especially you get to, you're using your own non-EX Pokemon. Uh, we have Mewtwo in here. Mewtwo has been dominating since, like, what, 2013 at this point. Uh, we saw it in Dark Eye Mewtwo. Uh, we didn't see it actually at all in 2014 now that I remember correctly. I don't remember seeing Mewtwo in there, but he's still around. He's still kicking, and we see X-Ball making a return into the finals once again. Uh, we see two Jirachis. We now have a... Uh, wait, do we have this last year? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. Last year was Verzi and Genesect, and then the year before that was Dark Eye, and then the year before that was the Dark Eye. So, yeah, Mewtwo's been around for a long time. Uh, Jirachi was in the last format. Um, we did see, who was it? It was, uh, uh, Estrada. He did play Jirachi to search for a supporter card. So you just put it down, search supporter card. We do play two because you do need to find the Jirachis. Two executes to help with the propagation. It makes your Ultra Balls plays and your superior energy levels a lot better. Um, of course, two Shea to set up. Now we have a new set of Pokemon making an appearance. Uh, be able to, you know, put it down. Draw you have six cards in your hand. This definitely changed the game. Shebe finally making an appearance in the TCG land in the World Championship. We do have four Acrobite with the top two cards of your deck. Put one in your hand, discard the other. 
four compressed air to put three cards in your discard pile. This is great because you can put Blastoise in the discard pile. You can put your eggs, your Archies, whatever you need. Uh, you kind of wombo combo that way. One computer search for consistency, of course. Four superior, four superior energy level. Discard two cards your hand. Of course, they want to be executes, but they could be anything. And then you get up to four energies in your hand from your discard pile. Four basic energies. So you kind of just like dump your hand. Maybe, you know, you, you compress your energies. You juniper them. Somebody gets knocked out. The superior energy level is going to refine those energy cards. Four trainers spell to find a trainer card. Look at the top four cards of your deck. Put a trainer card you find there into your hand. This is going to help you out a lot to help get set up and get that turn one uh, deluge off. For Ultra Ball, of course, we're going to discard two cards for hand. Search for any Pokemon, really good as well. There's a lot of different things we're using to get our hand down to zero. We got a Superior, Trainer, Ultra Ball, Compressor. A lot of different things happening. Computer Search as well. Literally every single one of these cards we just talked about, including Acker Bike, help you get your hand down to the lower hand size, which is great. Uh, for VS Seeker, of course, put a use supporter card in your hand. Two rough seas, you play only water Pokemon, so healing that 30 damage is fantastic. Uh, two Archies ace in the hole, of course, get the blast, so he's out. That's the whole name of the game. One light singer, bring a Pokemon off the bench. Uh, this is a new card. I uh, wait, no, it, it was, wasn't in the World Championship last year, but I think it was a thing then. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Uh, maybe I'm not, I don't know. I can't remember anymore when, when light singer came out. But one in, of course, uh, you're gonna see low hands, like low support accounts of these, like one in. Once one Lysander, two Juniper, because you don't want these supporter cards to be clogged in your hand. You want to be able to use Archies. That's the name of the game. Uh, one Flowstone for a free treat. One Muscleman and eleven Water Duty. So that's Jacob's deck. Like I said, you get the art, the Blastoise out turn one. You start attacking with Pokemon. And you're good to go. But give me a second. We'll see the second place list, which was Mies uh, playing Toad Bats. Alrighty, guys. So here is Mies's list. He's playing the Toad Bats deck. Now, we do see a very, very different kind of build. Uh, we still see Shaman, still see Mewtwo. Two really, really good cards. Uh, Mewtwo be able to expel, of course. Shaman helps set up. No draw cheese in the list, but we do have new attackers. We have Sizedo with Quaker Punch. It does 30. And your opponent can't play item cards from their hand. This is very, very good against the Archie's deck. Because if you're able to Quaker Punch them before they get any kind of um, Blastoise set up, then you could, like, you could cripple their setup, right? You can make it where they can't get the blasters out, and you pretty much just win from there. Um, also, the interesting thing, and I didn't talk about this, is the Articuno has um, Chilling Side, which just makes your opponent's active Pokemon go automatically sleep. So you just, you could, you know, it's a very weird war between Articuno and Seismitoad, because it's Sleep Flip, and then you Quake a Punch, and then you Sleep him again, and then it's a weird kind of war happening, right? But we do see a 4-4-3 Crobat line. Uh, this Crobat, this Zubat's really good because it has uh, free retreat to have his new energy attached to it. Really cool. We have Golbat. We have Sneaky Bite. Uh, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. When you evolve into it, very nice. It has Super Cross. Does 10 each your opponent's Pokemon. We have Crobat, which has Surprise Bite. When you place Pokemon from your hand, uh, you may put three damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon. And you can do this many times, right? If you, like, evolve all four Golbats, you can do... 80 damage. Combine this quick punch, combine this laser, combine with Verbing, combine with Muscle Man. You can see how this, you know, this 30 damage, which doesn't seem very much, becomes very, very strong. Making it where they can use item cards and you can just manipulate the damage by adding more and more damage counters. That is insane. We also see Grenade Hammer. Didn't talk about this, but it is 130. This deck does 30 damage to two of your bench Pokemon. Really, really good secondary attack. I do like that a lot. And that is the Silent Toad Crobat uh, Pokemon. Computer search for consistency. Laser, your active Pokemon is now poisoned. Flip coin advance, they are asleep. So not only can you poison and uh, make your opponent not play trainer cards, you can also put them asleep. So they like literally can't do anything. That is great. Uh, four super scoop ups. If they almost knock out your toads, you can super scoop, flip a coin of heads, put one Pokemon back into your hand. This can also get back your Crobats, uh, your Golbats, whatever you need to. But picking up a damage uh, uh, size toad was fantastic. We do have four Ultra Ball, four VS Seeker. We have three Verbic City Gems, so your poison do more damage. So now your Quaker Punches are doing 60 in between turns. Then Muscle Band is up to 80, plus a Crobat could be 110. And you can see how that damage does start stacking pretty quickly. 1AZ to pick up a Pokemon into your hand. Discard all cards attached to it. Once again, being to pick up a Crobat line or a Side Toad is fantastic because it's going to be hard sometimes for your opponent to knock out a Toad, but when they do get low HP, you can just put it back in your hand with AZ or Super Scoop Up. 
one colors to you know shove your hands to deck and draw a card for each uh, card on a both player's bench. You're gonna have a full bench because you're gonna have multiple crowbats and stuff like that. And so is the Archie Stories deck. I don't think they can afford colors at the time uh, because that wasn't very good. Um, but you know. Uh, the Blastoise list is going to have Blastoise, a bunch of Pokemon. If we're going to have a bunch of Pokemon, of course, it's going to get us a bunch. One Lysine, and a 3 and for a uh, Juniper. We do have more consistency with this list, which is what I like about this. Because with Jacob's list, he doesn't play many supporter cards. So if you can get that Quake Punch again, you're looking really nice. One Zerosa, get a Tool Card or Special Energy into your opponent's discard pile. Or any. And it's yours or your opponent's. Sorry. Make sure we clarify that. Three Muscle Band to do additional 20 damage. 4 DC for the Size Toad and Mewtwo and Shaman for a Sky Return if you want to. Do 30 and return the Pokemon back into your hand. We didn't talk about that, but it's a very nifty attack to make your Shaman get off the board if needed. And 3 Water G, try to activate that Grenade Hammer. So guys, there we go. We see the, we see the positives of both sides. Uh, the problem with, with the Size Toad side, if the Blastoise deck gets out of control, they can easily just start loading a ton of energies on Keldeo to shot the Size Toad before it can even knock it out. So it's going to be a weird back and forth battle, but I'm excited to see what's going to happen. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for Chip for doing this video, and we shall, sell it. we shall see it in action right now. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Alrighty, so here we go. Week number two of playing World Championship rematches. Now we actually have Chip Ritchie, or as some people call it, Trainer Chip. Uh, I'll leave a link, like I said in the beginning of the video. I think I hate when I repeat myself. Uh, oh my goodness, this hand is terrible. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, this is terrible. Alright, so uh, unfortunately we start shaming. Super scoop up three. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. We could lose in the first turn. Well, you can't attack here once, so that's good. Hopefully we talk like a size of toad or some way to get a size of toad. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Best two out of three, so that's a good thing. Uh, oh man, hopefully we don't have the same. I mean, I think this was like the fastest worlds ever. Like, it literally was. Like, you know, uh, Jacob just hit everything he, he needed to turn one and uh, pretty much destroyed Mies in the final. So hopefully, we don't see the same thing, but it might be, you know, it might happen. But let's see. We see Ultra Ball. Uh, can he get the turn one? I already have the Archie's in the discard pile. We see him discarding water energy as well. Okay. I'm not sure what's all on Jacob's list. I should have probably looked that up, but, you know, we're going to just play it like it is. Uh, but I'm excited for this week, playing 2015, 16, 17, and 18. Uh, there is the Blastoise coming out with that Deluge ability attach. All those Water Gs, there's the Superior. going to discard a Blastoise and a Water. He'll be going to attach one Water Energy. Does he have a Via Secret? One more card in his hand to pull this off. Oh, my goodness. There's the Keldeo. There's the Water Energy. There's the Via Seeker for... The Archies for the turn one. Oh my goodness, the turn one. Oh man, we might just draw a pass here. Oh no. Oh man, he only needs two energies on a Caldeo to kind of. Oh my goodness, there comes the Deluge. And there's one. There's two. Oh man, we're seeing the repent of the finals. Uh, plus, to the active comp compressor, we're going to discard stuff out of his hand. I mean, if he doesn't have anything, we might be able to quake a punch, but man, he's got the double Caldeo. Pretty brutal. He can do the double rush in. I mean, this list, I'm thinking he plays a laser. Oh, yeah. Yep, it does play laser. Okay, yeah. I was like, couldn't remember, but it definitely does. Uh, there's the execute propagate coming out. Another execute propagate. We might see an ultra ball for a Jirachi. Uh, oh, computer search. Four supporter card for next turn. Going ahead and use that. Uh, just in case we do pull the quick and punch off. But man, we need a miracle like we need a miracle so bad all right so uh c card going to the end past our turn what do we find and uh yeah well super scoop up yeah all right so on the game uh we'll go to game number two <laughs> all right so on the game number two let's go Oh, all right, all right, all right. So let's try this again. Let's play against trainer. Oh man. Okay, I put twenty eighteen, but it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, not twenty eighteen. It's twenty fifteen. Uh oh, oh, what exciting times! Hopefully, we see a repeat of the finals, right? Maybe I'll double lose. Maybe I'll double lose. All right. So we lost coin plus. So I told I told uh, Chip we'll be going first. Oh man, let's hope we don't see a repeat of the finals. Okay, so in our turn, let's see what do we find. All right, so we do find some toads. Uh, we do have the Zubat as well, so we go Toad, Zubat, Zubat. I don't think it really matters too much. 
Now, unfortunately, we can't quick a punch right now. So we'll go Toad. We'll go Zubat. Uh, press done. I yeah. So we're not getting donked here. That's good. That's great. All right. So there's Articuno. Articuno is still very scary because uh, he has the chilling slide to make us asleep. So that is very scary. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. So we'll put a water juice to the bench. Toad. We'll press done. Oh, to our opponent's turn. Maybe try to power up a grenade hammer. That'd be pretty cool to see, right? I uh, just need two waters and some kind of energy. Now, we do have a DCE. We could go for that Quake Punch, like I said, next turn. And if he doesn't get the turn one off, um, we're looking really good. But it comes to a coin flip, basically, right? He's going to put us asleep. Comes to a coin flip. That's always the thing with this matchup is this Articuno. Uh, that is, you know, that is the thing here. And there's no Pokemon Center Light in this list, so you can't heal your, your Toads. That's uh, the only unfortunate thing about Mises' list. It does not play a PCL. So we see a Compressor. We see the Trainer's Mill. What do you get off the Trainer's Mill? I already forgot. Uh, I'm not sure. We see Compressor. Discarding the... Oh, man. Discarding the three. There we see a Jirachi. So we might see a Jirachi. Uh, for a Supporter card, right? For a Juniper. All right. So no turn one Archies. So it definitely is going to come down to a Coin Flip. Uh, that would be a big, big thing here. Big, big thing coming up here in a second, guys. Is this Coin Flip if we stay asleep or awake. Oh, man. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, it comes to coin flips. Oh, boy. All right, so uh, let's see what Chip has for us. I mean, he really can't do too much. He can manipulate his hand, um, right, like where he plays all the trainer cards and everything, try to get as much item cards as he can out of it. So there's Ultra Ball. We see Ultra Ball. I'm going to discard two cards from saying discards an egg, and then the Blastoise. So he's got double eggs in the discard pile. We see the Keldeo EX, very nice. Has that Russian and Retreat effect. Uh, there's a the Keldeo coming down. Does he have some kind of float stone, I wonder? So you see propagation happening. And it's always like risky, right? If you play your hand down low enough, you could draw one card that could ruin it, right? So they would see computer surge. Kind of like guarantee him probably the turn two. This card's a Waylord as well. Waylord could be very good in this matchup though. Um just having that 250 HP. It's very nice, very tanky. So see Via Seeker for the Archies. He is ready for next turn. He is ready to get the Archies off for sure. Uh but we'll see Chilling Side. Coin flip time and heads. We do wake up. All right, that is very fortunate for us. So there's the Avia Seeker. So, unfortunately, we just have DCE Quake and Punch, and uh, that's our turn. That's our turn. But we know he has four cards in his hand. We know one is the Archies. I'm not sure what the other cards are. He's probably really reliant on that chilling side, I imagine, right? I imagine that's what we're going to see here a lot is that chilling side coming into effect. Uh, so, yeah, see another chilling side here. Is it coming down to a coin flip and hell? So we do stay asleep. So under our turn, what do we top deck? Well, a DCE. So uh, got a good old pass here. Tails, we're still sleeping. So it's up to Chip. Does he have a way to get the Archies out? Oh man, see this is man. Chip starting with the the Articuno, fantastic. I imagine he has an Ultra Ball in hand. Uh, I can discard two cards and uh, man, maybe it's what the computer search for. I don't know. So there's a rough seas coming out. Okay, can heal the thirty off the Articuno. Very nice. But what are the other two cards in his hand? So Trainer's Mail, he could fail that, okay. Maybe he doesn't want to. Maybe he finds an Ultra Ball and that's what gets him, okay. Okay, we see that. There's Compressor, VS Seeker. Oh no, he's got the Archies in hand. He's got the Blastoise. Chip is looking great again, unfortunately. Oh, man. Okay, so uh, we'll see what happens here. The Chilling Sigh, man. That is, uh, that is unfortunate because he had a Trainer's Mail, had a Compressor. And, uh, man, it started the, just started the Articuno. Like, Chip is on a roll here. Uh, is that how we're going to start the week off? All right, so see Compressor, you know, discard some stuff. We see the Archies. Uh, most likely looking for a superior energy retrieval. That is the key card here. If he can find the superior energy retrieval, get a bunch of energies on that Keldeo. He'll be looking really nice. Now, one thing he always has to look out for is going to be the Mewtwo EX. Mewtwo EX can punish Chip if he does put a lot of energies on here. So we see Acrobike. I'm uh, going to discard a Water Energy. Okay. Let's see. What else is going to see? A Propagation. Most likely see a Superior. Or maybe an Ultra Ball. I think we might see a Superior, though. That's definitely the card you want to be playing when you're playing these eggs. So, Double Egg coming out for, because of Propagation. There's the Superior Energy Ball. We're going to get four Energies on this guy. Uh, does he put on the Articuno? Or does he put on the Keldia, I wonder? We'll see here. Let's see what he decides to go. Another Keldia coming out. Maybe he puts on both and just kind of just like mimics, like, you know, hey, you take some damage, you take some damage kind of thing um because he will be able to smack the the, the size of for 110 damage right now uh okay so see all the energies there's the via for juniper for next turn yep there's the juniper coming down uh so there's a 30 gonna heal the articuno unfortunately gonna rush in 
smack us for 110, and it comes down to, once again, a coin flip, right? Uh, so it's 110 damage. Okay, heads, we do wake up. On our turn, let's see. We find a super scoop up. So, uh, first, let's go for the super scoop. Let's see what we find here. Scooper scoop is going to be a heads. We'll pick up that toad, going back into our hand. We will send in that Zubat. It does have free retreat because it has no energies on it right now. We'll put that in toad. We'll put it in the Verbeek City Gym as well to get rid of that. All right. So switch into the toad. DCE, Quaggit Punch for 30 damage. Got the item lock online. Uh, but, I mean, what does he really need? You know, he's got, you know, Juniper in hand already. He's ready to go. He can just seek your sword. And uh, this becomes the problem now, right? So in our turn, we find ourselves another toad. Okay, so we can go Quake and Punch, and next turn, Grenade Hammer for Knockout, right? Uh, yeah, that is a thing we could do. So we go DCE, Quake and Punch for 30. All right, so we got the Quake and Punch here. On to our opponent's turn. Let's see what he finds. Oh, man, I can't believe we haven't played his supporter card in both games. That is the un that's the unfortunate part, right? So, Seeker Sword for Knockout, but, I mean, oh, man, we could, we could always find a way to take a Knockout right now. That is the truth. Uh, if we can get lucky, you know, Golbat, Laser, um, maybe Muscle Band, I don't know the math exactly. So, there is an end. So, put down Toad, we will end uh, Chip into a new hand, uh, hopefully find something good. So, we do have the Grenade Hammer, right? We can... Grow grenade hammer, but I don't think that it's going to help us right now. So I think we go retreat, you know, quake and punch, okay. And then do we? I mean, we get attached to water. We we'll get retreat. I think right now the best idea is just to quake and punch. We just keep the lock. I think that's the best thing to do here because we can retreat the toad next turn as well, or super scoop up. I think that's the best thing to do right now. Yeah, I think that's fine. We could also, like, just peck away at this Jirachi. Um, there's so many different things we could do here. Okay, so there's a Golbat. So let's go Super Scoop up first. Tails. Okay, so we can go... Huh. We can... There's a couple things we could do here. Um, we can go... How do we want to do this, Josh? Huh. I'm contemplating taxing the energy because if we find another super scoop of a flip heads, we can heal the damage off this toad, right? And uh, then we click a bunch of the bench one. Huh. There's no AZ. Uh, we could go Shaman. So we can go Ultra Ball, Juniper, and Crobat. We'll grab a Shebe. It's risky, right? It is It is definitely risky because they could hit the Lysander. But if we find the AZ, I think that'd be really good, right? So go Shebe. We go Golbat. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We could put the 20 here. Shebe for 5. Yep. Let's see, what do we find? Okay, so we did not unfortunately find what we need as of right now. Um, we can Ultra Ball for Golbat, put some more damage on the Jirachi. We can go Laser. Um, Man, I really wish we would have hit the Shaman, right? Or the AZ. So let's go, you know, these two. We'll go for Shebe. Yeah, I think that I think it's the best option. We'll go for Shebe. We'll play the laser again. We'll go Shebe for four. Yep. Let's see. What do we find? Oh my goodness. Well, it's not what we want to see. So now we're in that predicament, right? So I think we still go Via Seeker. We go in. Uh, there is three water energies. 
Man, it's like do or die, right? Oh my goodness. You know, do we go crazy trying to find a super scoop? But man, I think we're like all committed right now. So let's go in. Hmm. Man, do we go for the grenade hammer or not? That is the question. Oh man. Okay, so I think we go here in and we just go for the grenade hammer. I think that's the best play. Okay, so we can go Golbat, put the damage here, okay, and then, you know what, let's go Grenade Hammer for Knockout, right? We'll put 30 on the Golbat, 30 on the Golbat, we'll take a Knockout, go down to uh, four prize cards. Yep, alright, so we get on the four. So one, and there's a computer search. Two, there's a DCE. Okay, there's Articuno. Do we see kind of, a, oh, he can go for Tri-Edge here? Ooh, man. Is he gonna go for Tri-Edge? I mean, he needs two heads, right? So there's an Acker Bike, okay. He could also go for Lysander. I mean, he has Keldeo Russian as well. Um, the thing is, is Mewtwo, right? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. We only need a, a, very, a, very, uh, a laser to take a knockout. And then we need double Golba, uh, double Crobat to take a knockout on the Jirachi. So we can easily win this game. Um, it depends if you can get into the Keldeo EX online, right? So we'll see what Chip has for us. We're definitely not out of it. That is for sure. That Jirachi being benched is going to save us the game. Uh, he does play, Mies does play three Crobats, and um, does he play a way, oh man, I can't remember if he has a way to get back his Pokemon. I mean, he has AZ, so that can work. I can get back his Pokemon, that's for sure. So yeah, we'll see here. Oh man, it's going to be close for sure, so, you know, discard some stuff, whatever, whatever. Um, is he going to go for the Triage or not? That is the, that is the question, right? That is the million dollar question here, guys. Uh, if he's got that, he's looking good. Oh man! So you see the deluge. He's gonna go for the the the, the tri edge. What if he flips three tails? There's the one. All right. Looks like we're gonna see a tri edge here. All right. There's the energy to own that guy. There's a juniper. Okay. Discarding his hand. Drawing seventy cards. What we could do as well is end him to one if he does flip heads. Right? Because it takes one extra prize card. We can end him to one. Quick and punch him. Oh man! But that, even then, that is not where we want to be. And yeah, let's just see what the tri edge is. Right? If he misses the triage, that is, that is, oh man, that'd be fantastic for us. It all comes down to this triage. Oh man. We'll see here today. Oh man, we see a trainer's bell. Is he digging for a choice band so he has to flip two heads? Because right now he has to flip two. He has to flip two to take a knockout. And that is the truth. And that is the truth, guys. We'll see. And even then, we got Ultra Ball. For Crobat. Oh, there it is. There's the muscle band. He's got it. There's the muscle band attachment to the Articuno. There's a Flowstone going to the Blastoise as well. Trying to limit. Uh, yeah, he's trying to limit as much as he can. You know he's got to have a light standard hand, right? Hmm. All right. There is the Propagation. Okay. We're going to see Propagate. There's Superior. He's going to load up this Caldeo. That is what we're going to see. Um, I think, does he put all the energy in the Keldeo? That'd be really risky. I think that's what we're going to see here. I think we're going to see the, the delusion to the Keldeo. Okay. Oh, man, that's so many energies. Oh, man, that's so many. Mewtwo will love that. I don't even know if Lysander's in the deck. That's the main concern for us right now, right? Is he going to rush in? No. No, don't do that, Chip. No, 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 no. That's not what you want to do there, bud. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Okay. Well, that's, uh, huh. Well, okay. Well, that's not good. <laughs> we can go Ultra Ball. In and in. To grab the Crobat. Yeah, this is not what Chip wanted to do. That is, he went all in. We'll put 30 here. We'll go, yeah, we'll go computer search, one and two, for the AZ, right? We'll AZ up the Crobat. 
put that back in our hand. We'll send up the Golbat. Put down Crobat. Put three energies on the Shirachi. Take a knockout. There we go. There's the math there. Taking a knockout. There's one. All right, so even though Chip started with that, I mean, 8, 9, 10, this is going to be 200 damage. We put down the Mew, put down the DCE, we got the retreat, and we'll X-Ball for knockout. Yeah, that's 200 damage. Yep, so that is game number two. So we are going to game number three. Wow, okay. I was really worried about that. Uh, but, man, here we go. The power of Toad is real. Wow. All right, I really thought he was going to go for the Articuno play, go for the flips, uh, but he... Yeah, you know, you know, wait for that play. But you know, it is what it is. Only game number three. Uh, he said, "All right, let's go here. Let's go to game number three. All right. I mean, we did get kind of lucky there that we had everything in our hand. All right. So let's see. Uh, call the coin flip heads. Let's see. We lost coin flip. Perfect. Chip will go first. Let's see what happens in game number three. This has not happened in 2015. Uh, in 2015, it was over by two games. It was the quickest finals ever. So we'll see what happens. Can, Ch can Chip get that turn one Archies? That is the big thing here. Can he get the turn one Archies? And all right, our hand is terrible. Woo! Woo! All right. Great things are happening. Our hand is terrible. Will we get a double dunk? That'd be great to see. All right. Oh, my goodness. Chip started the egg. Oh, no. Oh, no. If he passes and we type a glazer, we can donk him. Oh, my goodness. Oh, gracious. What is happening? Okay, so there's a Keldeo. He got... Okay, well, he typed it to Keldeo. Had an Ultra Ball hand. I mean, you know, discarding the Blastoise in the water. Let's see. I mean, maybe... Nah, there's no way you bench the, the egg. That is, that is, you know, crazy talk. So, is he the Drachi going into his hand? If he doesn't get the the, 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 the... the Oh, man. He's got it. Oh, man. Does he have it? Deluge for the water. Oh, he's got it. He's got the turn one, guys. Oh, no. There's a the water. There's a the Jirachi. He's going to go... He's going to go hunting for the uh, the Archies. Oh, man. He's got the turn one Archies. We need a top deck on the center. And the one of Rough Seas to the Archies. Oh, my goodness. He's running hot like Jacob once again. Oh, no. This could be terrible for us. Oh, no. <laughs> we need a top deck. So many cards right now. Okay. So, let's see what Chip does here. Oh, my goodness. If, if, if we just draw a pass, he could win. He could knock out the Zubat pretty easily. Uh, we see the Del Oh, he's got the Deluge as well. He's got the Waters. It's going to come down to what? Do we top deck? Oh, man. We have so many outs, though. Ultra Ball. Oh, he got his own Ultra Ball. Uh, he's going to get a Shaman, right? You have to get Shabe. Oh, these are so risky cards, though. The, the Jirachi, the Shebe. But I guess you have to do what you got to do. I imagine he is looking for a second Keldeo EX. Uh, that is a very scary combination, the double Keldeos. Uh, they always see the Compressor coming down. Um, also, an Articuno will be very good as well. But uh, he doesn't have the space for both. He has two baby EXs. This is screaming Toad should win this. Toad Bat should win this. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. I'm freaking out. And I haven't even had a turn yet. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. There's so many outs, though. There's four Junipers. There is a Chorus. Uh, uh, Ultra Ball. Uh, computer Search. We could just top deck, a, you know, the Shamans as well. I mean, you know, huh? You could just go for one Shaman. Chip is still going crazy, not knowing our hand is terrible. Oh, man. Do we go AZ to lose? Like, oh, man. Oh man, oh, oh, I'm so I'm so nervous. What's our top deck? Please, Pokemon. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen outs to hit a supporter card or hit something to draw into, right? And then, and not only that, there's three more Zubats, three Side Toads, two Mewtwo's. So you know, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, uh, 22, 23, 24. There's 25 outs. Oh, what do we get? What do we get? Oh, we got an Ultra Ball. Thank you, Pokemon. Oh, my goodness. If Chip only knew how bad our hand was. Oh, man. But the question is, what do we go for? We can go for, you know, I guess Shaman. It's definitely probably the best play. We'll get Shaman. We'll go Verbank. We'll go Shebe for three. What do we find here? This could be terrible. This could be a, still a bad hand. Oh, it is. It's terrible. Well, at least we can say we got a, a donk on the egg. Okay. Heads. 
And, oh man, I guess we attached the water to Shebe. Man, we should have kept the AZ. We could have AZ maybe. Oh no! Alright, water to Shebe pass. Alright, we took a knockout at least, right? It's something, right? He gonna lie soon, not gonna shame it, but we'll see. Okay, Ultra Ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still alive next turn. Okay, good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Alright, good. I mean, the bad thing is we didn't get a Quake Punch. I understand that, but oh man, this is very, yeah, it's better. And the question is, does Chip have a Lysander? Uh, that could be a really big deal, right? Lysander, bring up the bring up the shame and take a knockout. Going down to four, but uh, we'll definitely go for it. Crobat, oh my goodness, here's a superior. Is he going to load up this guy again? He's going to go crazy. There's three energies. All right, let's see. Does he load them all in this Keldeo? No, he's going to put another Keldeo down. I think that's a fine play as well. Uh, they ever see the three energies going to the Keldeo EX? Okay. Now, the thing that you don't know that I know is there's only one, um, uh, I mean, you do know. What am I talking about? You do know that. Um, there is four lays, or there's four, uh, there's only one, sorry, rough seas in his deck. So, Trainer's Mel, so he's not taking a knockout. That is great. We can soften up this Keldeo, and you know what? We might have to go for a Sky Return. Hopefully, we get something. Uh, okay, we don't have any way to get back our Pokemon. That is the big thing here. So trainer smell, he is playing all the item cards right now. He's trying to get, you know, all the stops, all the works out, trying to get all these trainer cards before a quick a bunch does happen. Uh, that is the big thing here. So we'll see how that plays out. But, I mean, hey, Jirachi. Oh, he does play second rough seas. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's no way he plays rough seas. Okay, I thought he only played one. It plays two. Oh goodness, that's scary. Uh, yeah, I think he drops the rough seas right now though, right? Nine cards left in Chip's deck. What is he going for, man? He's going for something insane right now, dude. He is he is just going in, man. He's like, you know what? We're, we're going in. We're going to see what happens. We're going places. There's Computer Search. Uh, you know, like I said, he's playing as many item cards as he can. Trying to thin that deck down. All right. So let's see. What does Computer Search find him? Maybe he goes for a Lysander. But nine cards left in Chip's deck. That is also very scary. Um, but right now, the Keldeo, you know, it's got... You know, it's got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It does 150 right now. But remember, he's got to watch out for Mewtwo. That is a very scary card. There's no way he puts down the rough seas. You know what? Let's, just look, at, let's look at Jacob's list real quick. Uh, you know what? It uh, it does play two rough seas. It does play two rough seas. Gotcha. All right. So we see Seeker Sword for the knockout. Does this also have? No, it only has three. Okay. All right. All right. So go down to five. Sit up Shebe on our turn. First things first, we're gonna fire off a laser. All right. So I'm gonna Ultra Ball. Man, this is terrible. Uh, Golbat in Verbic City Gym. We go for the second Shebe. We gotta go places, right? Come on, Shebe. Don't let me down, buddy. Yep. We'll go places. I know he's got the rough seas. Okay. So. We can go for N. And then we get the rough seeds out of his hand. Very nice. Um, and then do we go for Seismic Toad? Or do we go for Sky Return? So interesting. We'll go for N. We'll just go for N. Try to find a Seismic Toad DCE kind of combo. And we don't hit anything. No. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, no. We just whipped everything. Okay. Well, uh, that's great. <laughs> Oh, but okay, so in hindsight, if we attached the water G, it wouldn't matter, right? It, it wouldn't have mattered because, I mean, what what would we have done, right? I mean, I guess we could have went for a super scoop, attached the water kind of thing. But even then, like, that's a terrible play. We see the double rush in. That's what Chip wants to do. There's Compressor. Oh, man, this is this is terrible because now there's no Floatstone on this list. Um, it's straight relying on super scoop ups. So, uh, yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. Relying on the, on the Shea Bays to do work. I mean, hopefully what we can do, man, even then, then it's risky. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we can do here. We'll see. We'll find out. He's going to go down four price cards. Or three, sorry. Three price cards. We'll go to Enum. Um, we could find DCE and Sky Return. That's a thing as well. We could go for Juniper and just like say, hey, this is a trash hand. But I think it's a terrible idea um, because I don't want to discard the VS Seekers. Uh, yeah, we'll just yeah, we'll send up Shebe on our turn. We'll see what happens. Water energy. Oh man, do we? Oh my! I probably should just play Juniper, man. We only get five cards. All right, we go. Oh, we're going scooping here. We're going super scoop up. So we'll go, Zubat, super scoop up. Oh man, 
man, it's terrible. Oh, this is oh, it's pretty much game over. There's no way we, we win this now. Like, it's impossible, dude. There's no way. There's no way. We'll see what happens. We see some propagation. Okay. Propagation happening. Uh, let's see what happens to propagate. Does he have a way to knock us out? Does he have, like, a... Uh, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Like, the game plan is a load of a Keldeo, but does he have enough energies? Four, five, six, seven. He's got seven right now. Uh, the list. Okay, there's an N. He is helping us out. Hey, well, he's 11. So he finds four water trees and slap on this guy. We're in trouble. Hey, 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 there you are, Toad. I missed you, buddy. Okay, that's not good. That is not good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. He only needs one water to knock us out. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ah, splitting them. Trainer's mill. Okay. Ah. Oh goodness! No, 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 no! Wait, no, there's no way. Is he gonna retreat? Okay, there's no water. Is he gonna retreat this? Is he gonna retreat this Keldeo? There's no way he does that, right? That'd be insane, oh dude! Don't do that, Chip. Don't do that. What just happened? What just happened? Chip just scooped. What happened? He said no. <laughs> he said I accidentally fell. <laughs> he said he accidentally exited the client. <laughs> I mean, he definitely had that game. I mean, oh man, we just oh that was so bad. Like we we saw how bad game one. I mean, wow, wow, that was pretty rough. Uh, let's see what he says. He's 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 typing right now. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, one second. I'm asking him what was his game plan, like. Does a swing and have one more energy? I mean, I literally, like, if he attacked with the, the, whatever. Yeah, yeah, he said it, yeah, exactly. So, if he were to swing and the next turn he attached an energy, he's got game. Like, he, he had game. Like, there's no way he, he, he didn't have game. Like, 100%. Uh, he said he's down to redo another game. I told it was up to him, and it's up to him. I mean, he destroyed me. Uh, let's see what he decides to say here. I mean, this game was only like 30 minutes, so we'll see what he wants to do. Uh, I said, I mean... <laughs> okay, he said he wants to have a good video. Oh, look, you know what? Let's, let's do it. Uh-huh. Well, let's do it. He won't know that I'm gonna record all four videos, but you know what? Let's say one more. Let's see it one more time. Let's see it one more thing. We'll see what happens. I even let him go first. He said I still go first. So we're we'll redoing game three. You know what? Chip was in the middle of the game. He had to go use the bathroom. He said, "Look, Judge, I'll restart the game. <laughs> I'll restart the game." Okay, so he won the coin flip. All right. So would you like to go first? No. All right. So you know, Chip said, "Yo, Judge, if you let me go to the bathroom." I'll, uh, <laughs> whoa, this hand's terrible as well. Uh, yeah, we'll start Zubat, sure, why not? We'll, we'll fake him out, we'll give him the one-two. Uh, we'll snip, put the side stone. Oh, man, I hope he benches a bunch of Pokemon so we can call us. Oh, man. We'll see. We'll see, I mean, oh, goodness, he starts Shape A. That's, that's not what you want to start. I mean, okay, there's a compressor, okay, okay, okay. We'll see what he's got. Man, we just had a rough, like, game one, game three, and, like, 
uh, game two, show the deck off perfectly, right? And I think that's what happened pretty much in the finals. Um, I think, you know, it's still like a really like weird matchup, right? It's definitely, I don't know who's in the favor. There's not more of a favor side. I don't feel like it. It comes down to like how how much the the Archie Stories player blows off, like blows up turn one, right? I think that's the big thing here. So we see some ends. We see some, some you know, some ace and you know, archies it makes me think that he's going to end this turn um there's a floodstone okay ultra ball no dude, he's got this he's got this he's got the turn one again dude calm down chip wow man every single time he's got it there's a jirachi okay jirachi interesting he probably plays a second uh archies for sure okay what's the one card in his hand isn't it an energy and who do you attach it to to the shade to the shade now here's the, the scary thing it says he attached the floatstone of shaman if it stays in the active spot we can actually take a knockout with me too because 24 to 60 7 8 9 10, 11 we can actually yeah we can actually take a knockout with mewtwo um i know that's weird to say but hey it is definitely doable i'm hoping he benches one more keldeo and then we'll probably go coerson because i really don't want to juniper this hand away but i definitely need uh, to find myself some cards, right? And I think I think Colors for five, it's fine. Even Colors for four is probably not bad. We have Ultra Balls and Shamans and everything else, so it's not a bad idea. Uh, Juniper the whole hand away definitely seems a little bit more terrible. Um, if he be if he's really nice, he can propagate benches eggs for us. If we can Colors for a bunch more, or maybe we just top deck a Shaman or an Ultra Ball. Uh, so there's another Acrobat man. Chip, have you played all? Okay, nope, not yet. He's played three of his four. This card's a compressor, okay. Show me Ultra Ball. Oh, yeah, Propagation. What we got here, baby? Uh, maybe some, Superior? That could be really good. I'm hoping he's got an Ultra Ball, and he benches a second Keldew, and then we call for five. Man, but then it's like a Shauna. Oh, it's Superior. Yeah, there you go, Chip. Getting that Superior already. Yeah, get those four energies on that Keldeo. Wants to swing for 130 right now. All right, so let's see. There, yeah, and there goes the del Delusion. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so there we go. We got the three. We got the four. Does he got more than that? Jeez, he's got five energies on this guy. And a Shebe. My chip, calm down. Calm down, chip. Oh my goodness. You have 19 cards left in your deck, bud. My goodness. Okay, trainers about five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. He's doing 150 right now with that Keldeo EX. Oh my goodness. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, right now, we can just one-shot him with our Mewtwo, which is another scary thing he keeps digging himself into. He is uh, he is getting in that Mewtwo X-Ball territory. So, uh, if he Ultra Balls here, we're going to call it for six. And that is uh, pretty good. Okay, discard double X. All right, and let's show me another Keldeo. Oh, Waylord GX has made an appearance. Will we see a high breaching? Uh, via Seeker for another Archie. So sure, why not? Let's go for it. Via Seeker for it in. Sure, let's go for it. Bitch the Waylord. Oh man. Alright. So we got a Verbank. Alright, so we play three Verbank. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's go for the let's go for Verbank. Man, do we go for the knockout? Uh-huh. Two, four, six. Man, we need so much, but it'd be so worth it if we hit it, right? But it's so bad at the same time. Okay, no, we got a course. Uh, it's too risky. Too risky. Too risky. Okay, so we can go Ultra Ball. One and two. Grab our soul. Oh my goodness. We prize all of our shamans. <gasps> no, Sherbert. <laughs> oh no, that's terrible, guys. That's terrible. <laughs> all right, here, here, here. You know what? Let's retreat to this guy. Let's Quake a Punch. Oh, goodness gracious. That is terrible. <laughs> okay. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So he needs two Water Gs to take a knockout. He needs Dose. But, okay, there's one. Oh, my goodness. Okay. There's a Keldeo. There's a Juniper. Oh, no. He, I thought he landed in the hand and he had a Juniper as well. Oh man, oh no, it's so scary. Okay, okay, he's got the seven, he's got the knockout. 
But if we find a Mewtwo DC, we can one-shot his Keldeo EX as well. That'd be terrible. We are in top deck mode, guys. <laughs> he said, I just... Why is this showing up? I've never seen this before. Uh, okay, that's interesting. I didn't know it showed this stuff. Okay. You know what? Let's go for it. I mean, my hand... Oh, God, I can't believe we're probably both Shebae's. It wasn't meant to be. <laughs> I pressed both shamans. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. All right, on our turn. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> so you know what it's just not meant to be it's, it's just not meant to be it's just not meant to be for 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 sidestone crowbat to win this should have been an, an a plus game we should have won this we prize both of our shape a so chip <laughs> he says uh big f big f oh my goodness well there we go don't play shit oh my god this is supposed to be a good game this is supposed to be our win. Oh my goodness. All right. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, go check out Chip Richie's ch channel, Chip Richie, uh, ch Trainer Chip. Sorry. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I have links to everything down below. Like I said before, have a great uh, Monday. We'll see you tomorrow for Tuesday. Alrighty. Bye.